right. What time are we doing? Hope the music isn't too loud right now. I think it actually opened it for some reason. Um, everything is in position. I'm not a bad streamer. All right. I have rested yesterday because I needed rest, uh, and today, with full vigor, we are back. And we're about to bring this whole country's legal system down to its knees in the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I hope you're all excited. Um, did the stream thing get through? Unusual time, I know hours earlier. Oh yeah, me six didn't post me going live. What the hell? What the heck? Is that a me six problem? It also didn't do that with my last stream. Hey gnome, what up? Gnome, do you also use me six for announcing that you're going live on Discord? Because it doesn't work for some reason for me, for me right now. All right. So last time on the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, um, we can we we successfully defended ourselves when we're like, I we um we do not. Uh, nah, you're fine. I like the the ten minute announcement beforehand. That's way nicer because people can like settle in. Um, last time we, by the way, how do you like my meme? <laughs> um, last time we successfully defended ourselves in court and proved that we did not commit murder. Um, problem is the person who committed murder um, did not get acquitted. Like, yeah, she she doesn't get any punishment. So that sucks. Also, what is is my mic unusually loud? What's the what's the audio mix for you? I, I feel like something has changed here. Daojira, yo, nice to see you. I think the the audio level is different. I really need to look into everything. Um, but yeah, last time on the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, um, we proved someone else committed murder, but they didn't get like charged with anything because international relationships. Um, and today we simply uh, continue. Um, it's the second case, uh, so basically complete new story. Um, so if you haven't watched the first two streams, you didn't miss anything, basically. The Adventure of the Unbreakable Speckled Band. In a corner of that small, dark room, Sholmes and I waited with... Sholmes! In time, this is where it happens, sir. A hiss and a soft, almost growl-like sound. Suddenly, Shom sprang into action, lashing furiously with his cane at a point in the darkness. You see it, Wilson? He yelled, his tense voice reverberating through the air. I raised my dark lantern shutter, and the room slowly came into view. Sholmes was staring intently at one particular corner when he started whispering to me. The victim's most perplexing final words. The speckled band. I believe this is the terrible coil to which she referred, Wilson. In front of us was an enormous adder, its fangs bared as it threatened to strike. Streams? What do you mean, Venom? The most terrible streams? speckled band I had ever seen. Welcome. I mean, mystery over. The speckled banner is just the cobra. 19th uh, of Jan January 9th, uh, th 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 fuck. Uh, where was this? So, yeah, this is. So then, let us unravel this mystery and discover what events led to this curious murder. Pray, do excuse me. The cabin door was bolted from the inside when the man was killed. No marks to suggest the bolt was tampered with in any way. So. This would appear to be a locked room mystery. In his final moments, the victim scrawled a message on the floor. Hmm. 
Almost certainly with the ink from this upset bottle. Ladies and gentlemen. So the victim was a Russian man then. This is the letters are well formed. Herlock Sholmes. at the time. This is a most extraordinary script. And evidently not penned by the same hand as this message. In fact, I deduce it was written by someone of a different nationality. This paper seal was placed just prior to the incident by the victim himself, I would venture. Well, what have we here? Who are you? And what do you think you're doing here? Why is it striped? No one must touch before maritime police come. We must wait! Shh. That won't be necessary. You see, in less than five seconds from now, I will reveal the killer to you. What? We Don't know her, but this how... This is murder! I need cabin locked from inside! Ah yes, the locked room. But that mystery is paper thin. You, you don't mean the culprit is in there? <laughs> who, who are you? And where have you come from? Wait, but that is... A great British consultant detective, the only one in the world. Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> I presume... R that is the police officer, though. Heck? Do you have to defend the person who found... Oh, look, Sholmes now? Ugh, my head is throbbing. What's going on? Something's not right here. There's trouble in the air. Is this... Oh, this is the cabin. Wait, I... I can't move. No, we were inside and we have to defend ourselves from murder. Jesus Christ. We have to defend ourselves from murder charges again. <laughs> oh, what the? Why are you man in handcuffs? Hmm. So, you wake up now, huh? We have to drag you out of the wardrobe. I do not believe how you could not wake up. You're a true clue cold blood man. You... Uh, you found me then. Duh. We found you. Duh. We found you. And now you pay, criminal. How long are you hiding in the tiny wardrobe, huh? Oh, sorry. Now you have been found. It is time to admit your crimes. Unless you want to find out how to call the oceans, hmm? No, no, I'll tell you everything. So, these are Russian. There's only one thing I'd like to know from you. Isn't that... Oh, she. Never mind. Wrong voices! Why did you do it? Why did you take his life? Miss Sato? Wait, what? What did you say? Take his life? Um, where, where is he? Where's Kazuma? No, Kazuma's dead? Ha! You pretend you do not know. You are a wolf with a sheep's pelt. You are the killer. Do not try to make excuses. What? Kazuma-sama was... Kazuma-sana's body was discovered not long ago. No! I knew it! So many death legs! I knew it! But, uh, why Why do I have to be right? Here, in this very cabin, that was bolted shut from the inside, is his body? Please, do not try to tell us you were doing this terrible thing in your sleep. Kazuma's dead? But he can't be. Well, one less voice to do. And these handcuffs. Surely you don't think I... I have to know. Why did you take Cosmos' son's life? Answer me, please! No. No! Kazuma. It was just two short weeks ago. Are you sure about this? Won't we get in trouble? Ha ha ha! Don't you find it fun being a stowaway? Besides, how else would you come to England with me to study? It was really something else when they brought your luggage in here earlier, though. The way that Russian crewman just tossed your traveling case onto the floor, I thought I was going to die. Yes, I still can't quite believe that. 
I really didn't think he'd be able to fit inside my trunk. He must be even less of a man than you look. Hey, honestly, I thought I'd broken every bone in my body. Oh, so we were a blind passenger, I see. Well, it's about 50 days until we dock in Great... 50 days! Holy moly! That is a long travel! But if you confine yourself to my cabin here, I don't expect anyone will discover you. Ugh, I hope not. I get the feeling those Russians wouldn't be very forgiving of a stowaway. They're a sturdy bunch, that's for sure. What I want to know is, why do we need to keep it a secret from the young lady? From a faithful judicial assistant Miko Mikotoba, you mean? From your close friend, more to the point. Surely Wood could have confided in her, couldn't we? I don't believe she'd give me away. No, but if she knew what we'd done, that would make her guilty by association. It's best that only you and I know about this. Hmm, I suppose so. Anyway, it's about the time that the steward is supposed to come and clean the cabin. I know it's grand, but you better get in there, I think. It won't be for long. And anyway, compared to hiding inside my traveling case, it'll be a breeze. Yes, but what if the steward decides to open the wardrobe for some reason? Then I'll be in for it. Stop worrying. Tell you what, why didn't you write keep out or something on this piece of paper? Well... Then I can stick it over the wardrobe doors once you're inside. I don't know. We've only been at sea for about 15 days. How can this have happened? We were supposed to be going on this adventure to England. Together! We'll leave you at next port. Stay quiet until then. Don't make more trouble for yourself. Murderer? No, I'm not a murderer. Duh. You said before, you said you admit everything about your crimes. No, that's not right. I mean, yes, I did stow away in the ship, but murdering my best friend? Hoo-hoo, I'm here to bring you some IGC love and support. Mighty Mufflin, welcome. Thank you so much for the love. And no one else could have done it. Admit the truth. So, you know, that was shortly shown when, when the, the bodies transitioned, but there's a Russian death method on the floor, and I'm pretty sure my best buddy Cosmo didn't know any Russian, so, like, it, it's definitely, like, a Russian dude who murdered him. Um, Susato-san. Please, tell me what happened. I need to know. Very well. But there is something I would like to ask of you, too. Ugh, those eyes. She looks like she's ready to destroy me. This nightmare is getting worse by the minute. I suppose all I can do is try to find out what really happened. Cosmo's death. Hey, he really has been killed, hasn't he? It isn't just a bad dream. And these handcuffs. They think I did it? They think I'm Cosmo's killer? When they found him, the cabin was locked from the inside. What do you mean? Yeah, but how could I have been in the... In the wardrobe that was also locked from the outside, you know? That doesn't make sense. There is no access to the cabin via portal window, and the boat and the door can't be operated from outside. In other words, after the crime, the corpse couldn't have escaped these four walls. What? I mean, I don't know about you, but like, I see a window up there, on the left. Or to put it another way, the corporate can only have been in somebody inside this cabin. Why do you have some other explanation? This is impossible. How did he die then? What exactly happened? What happened exactly? Are you still going to deny this charge? Even despite the circumstances? Please, Osato-san, you have to help me! Believe in the client. The cause of death is still undetermined. They don't know how he died? The ship's doctor is examining the body, of, but of course he has no post-mortem analysis experience. I don't suppose we shall learn more until an expert has been consulted at our next port of call. So presumably that means there were no obvious external signs of injury then. That's true, yes. Can anyone tell me what actually happened to him this Captain Murder, he told you. <laughs> I don't understand it, why would anyone want to kill Kazuma? Presumably, that's something you know the answer to better than anyone. Please, whatever you say, you were here in the cabin after all. Well, yes, I was, but... Come on, I, I like, we just had the gun thing, you can trust me. He would always wake before dawn and do his training first thing in the morning. I was waiting outside his cabin as I have every day so far on this voyage, but this morning he did not come. I could sense that he wouldn't. 
Does that mean he was already dead when susato -san arrived at his cabin door, I wonder? I knocked, but there was no reply. Then I started to become worried, so I went to find a member of the crew. The crewman forced the cabin door open, and when he managed to get inside... There was Kazumusama collapsed on the floor. The white tape there now exa shows exactly where he was found, I suppose. I had no idea anything had happened. I, I must have been asleep in the water somehow. I wish it wasn't the case, but that's just very hard to believe. This is all very hard to believe for me too, trust me. Now I've told you everything that I know, so it's my turn to ask you a question. Yes, alright. Ugh, my head, it feels so heavy. It still throbbing is like anything. You were drugged or something. Stow away. Why are you even on board the ship, Naruto-san? You said something before about being a stowaway, didn't you? Oh, yes. I'm afraid that's true. It's two weeks since we left Japan now, and I've been shut up in this cabin the entire time. I had no idea, but how could you have occupied Kazuma-sama's uh, cabin for so long without him noticing? No, 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 that, that would have been impossible, obviously. Yes, of course. Kazuma invited me. He wanted us to go to England together. He actually asked you, but why? Because we're friends? <laughs> I'm afraid, I don't really know the reason myself. I don't understand. Kazuma, why do you want this? What's the real reason? Why do you go to such extreme lengths to struggle me, uh, snuggle me, smuggle me? Not snuggle me to England, oh god. Smuggle me to England with you. It's an idea that's been on my mind ever since the end of that incredible trial. I think I told you then, didn't I? That you ought to become a lawyer yourself. Well, yes, you did say that, but I didn't think you were serious. You have a talent for it. I can assure you of that. But I've never really thought about becoming a lawyer. Well, that's something you can decide for yourself. London is at the spearhead of cultural development, the center of the world in many ways. There can't be any harm in seeing such an important place with your own eyes, can there? Well, no, definitely not. But on a personal level, if you were to become a lawyer, then... Then what? Nothing. Forget it. Hmm? You want to become prosecutors or be like... The, the, the opposite, like, you know, rivals, enemies? Kazuma Summers, he was always saying the same thing that he wanted to change the Japanese legal system. Perhaps he thought that he could do that with you. Yes, maybe. But something still bothering me a little. The look in his eyes, then, it was darker than I've ever seen before. Did he knew he was going to get murdered? Um, Susato-san, I'm sorry that we kept your secret from you. We're stirring away on the ship, I mean. If I know... Kazuma-sama, I expect he was trying to protect me, to avoid me becoming guilty by association. That's exactly what's used. That's that's exactly right, yes. We're perfect. <laughs> if you're not the culprit, then tell me, what happened last night here in this cabin? Well, the thing is, I don't really remember. Kazuma brought me something to eat, just like he always did. Then I got myself into the wardrobe over there, just like I always did. After that, I fell asleep. Um, well, yes. So deeply that he didn't even stir when Kazuma Sama was killed. Um, well, yes. There was something in the food. There was sleeping poison or sleeping drugs in the food. I know it sounds unbelievable, really, you do. But it's the truth. If only I'd woken up, then perhaps I wouldn't be in this predicament. And for some reason, my head's still throbbing like anything. Really? Um, is something wrong? Oh, um, no, it's... Please, forget it. Susato-san, you have to believe me. I didn't do it. I, I really don't want to doubt you. But the trouble is, there is no one else who could possibly have done this. Ugh. Yeah, lock mystery. Lock real mystery. Kazum, I don't understand why. Why did this have to happen? Ugh, I can't take this. Don't try to go anywhere. You're the perpetrator of this crime. 
I'm not starting to visual novels, but I will stay to support you. I will look at least. Oh, thank you, mighty. You don't have to stay if you don't want to, but thank you. Yeah, the, uh, this is not only, by the way, a visual novel. Like, it's not only reading. Um, it's it's also, like, clue discovering, and then you have, like, a trial where you have to prove who it is and stuff, and there's more deducing in that part. You're the per perpetrator of this crime. You can't leave. I can't allow that to happen. I'm sorry. But Cosmos killed right, the, right under my nose here, and I didn't do anything to stop it. Now... And now I'm supposed to just sit around my hands tied while whoever did this works free? No, I can't allow that to happen. Well, what do you propose to do then? I'm going to investigate. I'm going to find out exactly what happened here. I'm going to work out who took Cosmos' life, and how and why they did it. Yeah, but like, you can't move. <laughs> So I'm sorry, but you're going to have to excuse me. Hiya! Oh, that was her. What well, the? That was a Susato takedown. Uh, Susa what? What martial art form is that? Guess step on me, Susato. I'm going to need you to prove it. Sorry, prove it. Yes, you're innocent. I need evidence. But but how am I supposed to? Have you forgotten already? What you achieved just a few weeks ago? You successfully defended yourself in a court of law. Ah, I see. She's expecting me to present some conclusive evidence. I have to get Susato son to believe me. I'll show her some evidence right now that proves I'm not guilty of this awful crime. Yeah, the the, the paper seal that actually works. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, the paper shows yes! that actually sees the case. Tell me, when I was discovered in the wardrobe before, was this piece of paper stuck over the doors? Oh, yes, it was. I remember clearly. I thought so. Cosmos always put it in place whenever I went to sleep in there, just in case the cabin steward or another crew member decided to look inside. So naturally, he did the same last night as well. Ah! Yes, of course. The gentleman who discovered you peeled that sign from the wardrobe doors before he opened them. But if I were truly the culprit, I couldn't have climbed back inside the wardrobe and stuck this on the outside of the doors on my own. Yes, that's quite true. In other words, it's impossible that I killed Kazuma. Well, even if you are sprawled hopelessly on the floor, I can see why Kazuma-sama thought so highly of you. Thank you, Susato-san. Now, do you think perhaps you could help me out? <laughs> Ah, oh, this is funny. Well, in the light of that evidence, I don't see any reason why I should stop you from investigating and hear priest. Thank you. So you finally believe me. I'm sorry. No. What? I'm not sure yet. I can't rule out the possibility that you used some sort of conjuring trick to put the sign back in position, but then you could just lock the door with the same conjuring trick. What does she think I am, a magician? For now, I suggest you investigate as thoroughly as possible here. I'll do the same. Alright, let's get to work, Susato-san. Please, don't misunderstand me. I still have my doubts. Oh. She's cold. I shall be watching you to make sure you do nothing that might disturb the crime scene. I wouldn't want you to be using your conjuring tricks to destroy evidence, for example. Right. Well, anyway, I should make a start on investigating here. Examine everything I can. Cosmo. I swear, I will avenge your death. Investigation time! Yo, investigation time! Let's go! Let me... Can I... I cannot... Wait, can I records? What is the record? Save. I want to see if I could maybe see the achievements from inside here. No. Ah, look, I can move. I'm in handcuffs and under house arrest by the crew. Not to mention Susato Sons, constant glares. Never mind, I can't move. I think it's fair to say that I'm stuck in this cabin, for the time being at least. I should focus investigating here to see what I can find out. But I can present, I'm gonna present my badge because, yes. Um, Susato san, about this. I'm sorry, Naruto san. But we don't have time to waste on anything else. We must find clues. Hmm, she looks serious. Really quite deadly serious. I really like the um, text skip. Okay, we can't shut anything else, so just examining. Oh, there's actually a steward here. I don't know if I like the new examination stuff, because I don't know if it actually shows if I already like successfully investigated something. 
The books have fallen over on the shelf. Look, they've all toppled the same way. And what's this? A statue of some god of the sea? Although he's fallen over as well. Yes, it's almost as if the whole shelf has been ransacked and everything mo uh, moaned down at once. We're on a ship, dude. I wonder if perhaps it was Kazuma Samus doing this, his morning soul training, do you think? I seriously doubt it. And then perhaps it was you, Naruto san in a fit of rage. I wouldn't have bothered reading the wardrobe just to mess up a few books in a study statue. But the way these things have been thrown about have anything to do with the case, I wonder. Well, I'll just set everything straight again. I don't like to see a mess. You're literally tampering with the crime scene, bro. What the heck? What the heck? Tamping with the crime scene! Oh dear, that won't do. Oh, what's the matter, Sasato san? Whenever I'm examining things, I always find myself focused. I forgot to look around properly. Ah, oh, yes, that's not good. I don't suppose you're as foolish as me in that regard, are oh, you, Norohodo san? Oh, wow, we can, like, get 15% more. I'm sure you're careful to look all around using. Aren't you? Now let's investigate all corners of this cabin. Yes, let's do that. I suppose my field of vision has been rather small up to now. I mean, not really, dude. There's like so much to see already. Alright, it actually just shows a check mark. That's great. These are the rules of passage for travel aboard the SS Borea. It's essentially a list of requests from the captain to all passengers aboard. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in their cabins. Pets are also strictly forbidden. Well, he had a sword. Hmm, <laughs> what? Why are you staring at me? Oh, sorry, I was just thinking. Are you more of a dangerous object or a pet? <laughs> Amazing. I can't decide. Well, one thing's for sure. Either way, I wasn't supposed to be in here. The door. When I went for help and the crewman forced the door open, this bolt had been firmly closed. Hmm, it's quite a small bolt and not particularly sturdy, but just slides across to secure the door shut. But still, with the door bolted, there would be no way to get in or out of the cabin, that's for sure. It's in incredible that they actually managed to, uh, to get it open, too. It's no wonder everyone's expecting. Oh, whoa, what's this murder? Welcome, Yuri. Uh, do you remember Kazuma-san from last case? But you glance at me like that, I feel tense all up and down my spine. I remember reading once in a detective novel. The culprit used a needle and thread to draw a bolt across from the outside the room in a situation like this. Yes, that's a clever trick, isn't it? I'm an avid reader of detective stories myself. But the door of this cabin and its frame are made of metal and they see it together perfectly. There would be no possibility of using that needle and trick, uh, thread trick here, I'm afraid. When she glares at me like that, I feel pins and needles all up and down my spine. Well, um, yeah, exactly, Mr. Mr. Magic Headband. Uh, bad news, um, he's a murder victim. He's dead. And we were accused of murdering him. It's pretty sad. Um, also, the detective that we're up against is Herlock Sholmes. Yes, I did not pronounce that incorrectly. It's Herlock Sholmes. Perhaps I should see what this Russian crewman makes of the scene of the crime. Um, excuse me. What? I was wondering how it's going, the investigation, I mean. Grandmother told me Japanese people do not make jokes, but this is not true, I see. Sorry? The criminal asking investigator for information about this crime? Very funny. Oh, it, it wasn't supposed to be a joke. He doesn't appear to be laughing either. He's convinced you're guilty. He might have useful information though, I have to keep trying. So, last night, did you notice anything out of the ordinary at all? Well, so we got a drink, 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 where's my water, there's my water bottle. And it's stretched and crack. Hey Yuria, and are you gonna come with uh, the Hobbit movie night tomorrow, uh, today? <sighs> That's some good stretching. Ooh. Ooh, that, uh, thank you, thank you very much. Yet, of course not. Now back to corner of room and make silent. Today's D and R search. I say no more to you. Hmm. Did I hit a nerve? Just for a minute there, he seemed a little flustered. Wait, what did he seem flustered by? 
out of the ordinary. Interesting. So there was something out of the ordinary. Apparently. Uh, what's this? Sagey. Yeah, then the next one was on Friday, and next week we're gonna do the whole Lord of the Ring trilogy. Seiji, the Japanese word for justice. The brush strokes are straight and true, just like Kazuma. Well, I, I think he, Kazuma's not quite straight, dude. With, with, with a guy like you? Yes, his calligraphy always was a reflection of his heart. Did you... Can you really look at those characters without feeling shame? Knowing who drew them so thoughtfully? Bro! Why... Of course I can. I mean, I'm innocent, so why shouldn't I be able to? Sasada is so sus of me. Even though he stole the blade on the ship. Now you're going to bring that up, are you? I can't win. But that's not really like injustice, you know? What's this? There's nothing on this table at all. The plate and cutlery are all over the floor for some reason. Yes, it's strange. Last night when I went to sleep, I'm sure everything was still no. Wait a minute. What is it? That's funny. I I can't seem to remember anything about what happened after dinner at all. So, then perhaps you are responsible for what happened to Kazuma-sama. No, 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 no. Yeah, he, Kazuma-san dropped you for some reason. Also, is that a chicken bone? That's my dinner from last night, a roast chicken. It was really tasty. Yes, it was very delicious, wasn't it? But, did you eat it on the floor here? I'm not a dog, Sasada-san. I ate at the table, of course. Which begs the question of when and how the plate ended up on the floor. Yeah, I think they're... Since we're on a ship right now, I think the whole ship just had, like, a big wave and everything shifted to the left. So everything, like, fell off and we had the bookshelf and everything. But Kazuma somehow didn't like chicken at all, did he? No, that's right. So he didn't touch it. Which meant all the more for me. Oh no, does... Does that mean... The Kazuma-san spent his last night on his earth with an empty belly? It's just too horrible. Ugh, now I suddenly have a guilty conscience and an achy stomach. My achy, breaky stomach. My achy, breaky stomach. I've investigated thoroughly, but I can't find anything out of place. Oh, okay, that was just... Ooh, wait, no. What's this? You're navigating with the, um, with the joystick is really eh here. What do you think this is? It looks like a broken piece of glassware. Whatever the thing was, it appears to have broken clean too. The glass is such a beautiful color. It looks like a cute little Natsuki fastener from Team Nona outfit. I'm not sure that sounds like Cosmo, so you are the murderer. He wouldn't have secretly carried a cute little trinket like this around him with him, would he? And the mark beside it. What is it, I wonder? It has a sort of brick-like hue. Yes, you're right. It's, it is the color of brick, isn't it? Even though I don't see anything of the same color anywhere else in the cabin. Did, did Kazuma Zan write that before he died? It looks like it's written in ink. He must have knocked the ink pot from the desk when he collapsed on the floor. Then I suppose he wrote this message by taking his finger in the spillage. To Kazuma Sama. No doubt he was in terrible pain. It's almost unbearable to imagine it. I suppose he was trying to leave some kind of a clue in his final moments, wasn't he? I'm sorry, partner, but I can't read your writing. I don't think that's Japanese, not really, son. What? Then, then what language is it? It pains me to admit it, but I don't know. It's not a foreign script I'm familiar with. It said... Uh, didn't Jeholic Sholmes in the initial thing said that it's Russian? Yuri, do you, do you know Russian? That's a very large traveling case, isn't it? Yes, it carries a lot of memories for me. Memories? What do you mean? Well, that's actually how I stowed away on this vessel. I was brought on board inside the case. Ah, yes, I see it says this way up in Japanese. Which in hindsight, I should have realized the foreign crewmen wouldn't be able to read. I was turned over and over and over. Oh, I didn't... I don't know Russian, no, there was this... Dang, why? Which in hindsight, I should have... I was turned over and over and over, and then I was tossed on the floor. Oh dear, being so is as romantic as it sounds. Well, it was less painful than a Susato takedown. <laughs> yeah, here's also the sword for some reason. That's Kazuma-sama's precious sword. He would never went with anywhere without it. Yes, he was always saying that a Japanese man's katana is a soul. I believe he had to work very hard to convince the government to allow him to bring it on this trip. I suppose that just shows how important it was to him. And now he's gone, but I'm not ready to let his spirit go just yet. 
But this is directly against the rules that are laid out there. How dare he. This is where the gear Kazuma-san would have said whenever he was writing. London Diary. Poor Kazuma. He didn't even make it to his destination. It looks as though the last entry is incomplete. Which means, what? He was in the middle of writing it and when the incident happened? Let's see what it says. It would, could be a valuable clue. Hiya! Another saucer to take down? That's out of the question. What? Kazuma san may have departed his world, but you must not read his private thoughts. But but what if it's something important? Something relevant to the case? Alright, alright. I won't read it. So Sati, you're not making this easy. You're not making this easy for me. Poor Kazuma sama. I don't like praying into people's personal matters either. But in this case, I isn't there a need for clues more important? For her it isn't, but for, since, since like it's just an investigation, but for you it is because you're the murder suspect. Knife, I think we investigate everything this, so let's go to the left. Hey, what's this? I think that's some kind of opening for a ventilator, a hole through which fresh air can circulate into a cabin. Isn't that a little odd? What do you mean? Well, this ventilator, if that's what it is, looks like it must connect to the next door cabin. Yes, it would appear to. You're right. But if its purpose is to allow fresh air into the room, surely it should be connected to the outside. Hmm, that's true. Perhaps it's so that rain and spray don't find the way in when the seas are rough, or something like that? I suppose. Maybe that's it. What? Who's that? He wasn't there a minute ago. And as far as I can tell, it looks like he might be European. Oh, how did he... You've noticed the man too, have you? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I've no idea who he is or how he got in here, but he looks suspicious and tall, and suspiciously tall. Naruto-san, don't tell me. Do you really not know who that is? Um, well, no. I don't have any foreign friends or acquaintances at all. He doesn't look like a member of the crew. There's something very unusual about him. And is he investigating Katatsuma's desk or is he just playing on it? I can't tell. Well, in that case, we simply must talk with him. Am I just imagining it or does Susato-san look almost uncontrollably excited? <laughs> By the way, I expect that you've noticed already, but just in case, if you press A on people when they're in the crosshairs, you can converse with them. Alright then, I'll get that suspicious tall gentleman in my sights and see what he has to go to go say for himself. Oh, please do. She's a simp for... She's a simp for Herlock Sholmes. Amazing. Is there... Yeah. There's more. This is... Yes, it's a bell cord contraption, I think. What do you mean, contraption? I read about it in a book I was studying that talked about life in Great Britain. Large households often have bell cords like this, which you can pull to ring a bell to some servants. Really, that sounds almost magical. Shall we give it a little try? Yes. In the interests of cultural research, obviously. I, I love how she is like, no, you can't do this, and then like has childlike excitement to do stuff. I suppose nobody comes for lowly Japanese people. No, no, I'm sure it's just that everyone is busy, that's all. <laughs> that's rough. It's some two weeks ago since we set sail from Japan. Have you really been living in that wardrobe the entire time, Naruto-san? I think living isn't quite the right description. Oh, no, I suppose not. Oh, that must have been rather exciting, making this voyage in your own secret hideout. The trouble was, I never knew when a member of the crew might come in. So yes, I did basically have to live in the wardrobe. You literally have a lock on the door! There was use for this lock mystery, room mystery, and you're not using it to protect your privacy? Last night was no exception. But because of that, you have no idea what was happening out here in the cabin. No, sadly not. Alright, I think we have investigated everything. I think if I use... I can't use my mouse, sadly, so I have to actually rely on patrol support. Amazing. So let's talk to Herlock Sholmes. Um, excuse me. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Shh! This is a critical point in my investigation. Wait, 
This is a critical point in my investigation. Maybe I should leave him alone. He seems a little unfriendly. Yes, perhaps that would be for the best. Greetings. I hope I haven't kept you long. Ah! Um, what exactly were you doing in Cosmos Desk just now? Ah, I see. Fascinating. Uh, sorry, what do you see? It feels like he's looking right through me. Oh yes, everything is clear now. The train of reason has run its course. My deductions have crystallized. You have been in Afghanistan, I perceive. Just recently returned, if I'm not mistaken. What? Sorry? What? And there, whilst venturing toward foreign climes, you find yourself in a most troubling predicament. Oh, well, that's true at least. But, but how? How did this? Did I know that, perhaps? It was really a most elementary deduction. Hardly worth explaining. Have you perhaps managed to deduce anything else? But of course, a great many things. There is no mystery, my dear madam, for example. You have fled your native land of Russia, being as you are a merciless revolutionary. You leave 16 victims of assassination in your way, and now travel to England to blow up the Crystal Tower. And when the Barabind occupant of this very cabin discovered your identity, you ended his life too. Yes, I believe that summarized the facts beautifully. No need to hide the truth now, nothing deceive these eyes. That is not entirely, exactly not the truth, not at all. Um, just to be clear, you were talking about me, are you? Certainly, I am. Do you see another in this cabin and who fits the bill? A Russian assassin with 16 victims to his name? I don't even see one person who fits the bill. Is Sato gonna believe me? So it's true. It was you who did this to Kazuma's. I'm not Russian! And, and you're plotting a revolution too! Sato. It's shameful behavior, Naruto son. Absolutely wicked. No, listen, there is no way I. Hiya! Oh god, another another takedown. Now explain yourself. Tell me everything. This is ridiculous. She's too much of a simp to see the truth. How could you do it? For pity's sake, open your eyes. I'm not a Russian revolutionary, obviously. Oh, forgive me. And as for you, what kind of deduction was that? You were just saying the first thing that came into your head. Ah, but I was I not right? I was venturing toward foreign climes. You do find yourself in a most troubling predicament, do you not? Well, yes, maybe. Ha, there you have it, you see? What do you make of that, huh? Well, to be honest. This ship is en route to England, and I'm in handcuffs at the scene of a murder. So, I'm not really sure you could call it deduction. It's more plain observation. Indeed, an observation, my dear boy, is the basis of all deduction. My method is founded upon the observation of trifles, you see. I announce my findings with a brassy certitude, and more often than not, I'm right. Ah, I don't think you introduced yourself. Ah, my apologies. How remiss of me. I am none other than the greatest detective of the century known to men and women the world over. The inimitable Herlock Sholmes. So, it's really you? The actual Herlock Sholmes? The very same. The imitable actual Herlock Sholmes. I think he's a fraud. Do you know this man, Sasato san? The most famous detective in the world? Naruto san. Of course I do. There's nobody who hasn't heard of him. What planet have I been living on then? You must ask him what he's deduced. He will have worked out the entire case already, I'm sure. Really? Why do I feel uneasy about this? Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Did I... yeah, I... never mind, I just need to... Can I move? I'm in handcuffs and on house arrest by the crew. Well, not to mention to set us some constant glares. Now, the great detective is deduced that I'm some kind of Russian revolutionary. My chances of getting out of this cabin are still a bit best, at least for the time being. Perhaps I should see what the detective has to say for himself. Can I just present stuff? Hmm, I've never seen anything like this. You you literally pulled it off yesterday. Most extraordinary writing. You said the same earlier this morning, I think. 
Indeed, but it's uncommon. It's, it's so remarkable I felt the need to say it in you. Yes, I do believe these characters may be a crude attempt at a Japanese script. What? Mr. Naruto, I, I don't like to be the one to tell you this, but I think Mr. Shomes is trying to say that your handwriting is a little untidy. Is, is he making fun of me? Um, Mr. Sholmes, what do you make of this? Shh, quiet. When I'm ruminating in the course of my deductions, nothing must disturb my mind. Oh, so sorry. Ah, an Indian curry, perhaps. What's he ruminating about? The lunch menu? Lol. Converse. Great detective. He's gonna be so fucking annoying. So, you're a great detective, are you? Sorry, what was your name again? Indeed, I am none other than the one and only Herlock Sholmes. Oh, I see, you're German? Herlock, was it? No, I have no hair. I mean, I have a hair. Please call me Sholmes. You can read all about my exploits and it's an exciting rants. Strands? Yeah, I think this is like a, a mock up of the Strand. This is an exciting long publication. Oh yes, Rand's magazine, full of wonderful short stories, interest articles from Great Britain. I never miss an issue. I've sent it from England. I've sent it from England, especially. Ah oh, yes, here it is: The Adventures of Herlock Sholmes. Isn't that fiction dress? But also, that is that is poor English. Ugh. So you're the protagonist in a series of short stories, then? Indeed, I am. And you've read so many of your own stories, you've started to think you really are a detective. Make no mistake, I'm not the poor deluded fellow you take me for. You are. Your inference is backwards. Backward. My trusty biographer records my greatest detecting achievements and chronicles them in a magazine. You have a biographer, do you? There's an everyone. Mine goes by the name of Dr. Wilson, presently keeping a shop in London. Dr. Wilson? I must say, thanks to the publication, I've been fantastic busy of like. Why, this very moment I'm returning from Asia, having solved the mystery of a cursed royal crown. Really, I can't work out whether I should take this man seriously or not. Deduction, you see, is to me a science. Logical reasoning is in its purest form. A science? Really? The astute observer notices even the most subtle of reactions in his subject. A, fur a furtive glance, twitch of a muscle, a slight inclination of the posture, Fingernails, arms, sleeves, furs in the skin, all these things are data. Right. And the trained logician makes deduction from the state of the blink of an eye. Can't really do a good British accent. The ultimate conclusion is, without fail, the truth. As I demonstrated only a few show moments ago. How can you look me in the eye and claim that? He called you Russia Revolutionary. So you see, I've returned both for observation and for deduction and fame. That is what makes me the one and only her. No, Herlock Shells. How's must that? Have you managed to do anything about this particular case yet? Have I managed to deduce anything, my dear fellow? How do you? Su who do you suppose discovered the culprit in his most cunning hiding place? That's right. It was none other than a great, det great detective before you now, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Ah, I see. In other words, I'm in these now because of him. When I became anxious about Cosmo Summer this morning, I summoned all of the crew members to force the cabin door open. And I concealed myself among the number, gaining entry to the scene of the crime. Yes, luckily for everyone, the great detective, Herlock Sholmes, was on board. And the handcuffs seem to be an excellent fit, Mr. Naruto. Ugh. The very moment I laid eyes on the scene, two facts were immediately apparent to me. Oh really? Two facts, you say? Ooh, two facts, tell me. Mr. Sholmes, tell us, please. What two facts were apparent to you when you came into this cabin this morning? Ah, oh, yes, but first let us be precise. The two facts in question were immediately apparent to me. Yes, yes, I understand. But what were they? Allow me to elucidate. 
the two facts that I've deduced from a mere momentary glance at the scene of the crime were as follows. Number one, the cabin was locked from within, rendering escape of the culprit out of the question. Number two, the victim was Russian and killed following a dispute with an acquaintance. Hold on, Mr. Sholmes, what made you think the victim was Russian? Well, the script is Russian. Observe the dying message left by the victim on the floor. That is the Russian word for wardrobe. Do, do you really think Kazuma Sama would have left a dying message in Russian? In their final moments, many find the native of the Alain tongue filling their head. For this young man, Russian. Kazuma was Russian, was he? His name is so Japanese. Initially, I considered Garderob maybe the name of the killer. A, cer a certain Robert Gard, perhaps. But in the interest of thoroughness, I decided it would be wrong not to look inside the wardrobe there, at least. Where you found Mr. Naruto sleeping soundly? Quite so! I found you, the renowned Russian revolutionary killer! Why is it that I'm Russian too? Is everyone Russian? Observe that you were wearing the same attire as the victim, in other words, you were acquainted. And if my memory serves, that outfit is the traditional dress of the Russian people. Our school uniforms are the traditional dress of the Russian people? I had no idea! Sasato, why are you so dense? And I had no idea a detective could get so many things wrong, I think. I... What the heck? You get some... Uh, yeah. I took a photograph of the victim and the message that I might analyze it for possible hidden details. This... This was taken immediately after the young man was discovered, before the body was removed. Yes, Kazumas had already been taken away when I woke up. This is the first time I've actually seen him like this. He, I, I bet he's like right, uh, left-handed. Are you alright, Mr. Naruto? Oh, um, yes, thank you. The photograph of the crime scene has been entered into the court record. Ooh, can I investigate that? Can I ask you, Mr. Something, Mr. Sholmes? What, pray? You mentioned Russia before as well, didn't you? You know, when you said I was a fearsome revolutionary fleeing from Russia and all of that... Ah, yes, the train of reason that led me to the truth. Would you mind explaining that train of reason to me, do you think? Also, let me just... Okay, I can only magnify and not actually look at that. Uh, Koheiho? Certainly, if it interests you. How many times? I'm not Russian, and I don't speak Russian. Can you gaslight it, Omeo? Your deduction just now. Um, can we talk about your deduction before? The thing is you can concluded about me, I mean. Ah, the now famously accurate trouble, or troubling predicament you find yourself in. Actually, it was the other details that I was more hoping to discuss. Uh, you know, the merciless Russian revolutionary and assassin of 16 part? Ah, yes, the more sordid details. It was a fairly commonplace deduction. Here we have this morning's paper. The main headline reads... That is not me. Revolutionary violent Bolsheviks flees Russia via Shanghai. This vessel made a port called uh, Shanghai yesterday. Last night, the young Russian was murdered. Since when was Cosmo a Russian? It sounds like Mr. Sholmes has concluded he was Russian because of what Cosmo son wrote on the floor. It was a simple act of reasoning to realize that the culprit of this crime was the same merciless revolutionary. One who would kill the very man who helped him to escape off this true identity was discovered. Give me just a second. Give me just a second. Okay, so if it's late, we may continue. Yes, you, violent Bolshevik. No, no, how could it be me? I don't look anything like this man. Just look at his face. <laughs> well, you are a fearsome revolutionary, after all. You could have shaved your beard. Therefore, you have no doubt learning to revolutionize your experiences. <laughs> oh, please. And, I might add, your name does not appear on the ship's passenger list, need I say more? Well, I was a story, that's because I'm a story, yeah. 
What about the other details? The 16 victims of assassination blowing up the crystal tower? Ah, yes, the journalist uh, clearly interviewed the man and printed all his particulars in the article. The deeds the man has perpetrated thus far and those he's plotting. Yes, everything about this revolutionary Bolshevik was included. There can be no mistake! Do, do revolutionaries usually agree to interviews with newspapers, reporters, I wonder? And before it's also. Um, it, it's also like a fictional article, just like Sherlock Holmes. And what about the part where you said I was just returning from Afghanistan? Also quite clearly stated here in the article. Borshevik has recently returned of the period of subversive activities in the war-torn regions of Afghanistan. Where even is it anyway? <laughs> this Afghanistan place. Here, take the paper for yourself, as a little memento of this great deduction. Oh, um, thank you. I've absorbed all this that is of interest to me within its pages, but I see no rubbish bin nearby. The article about the revolutionary time and the court like that. This is gonna be like do we have to refute that we're Russian? And the name is Naruhodo? Like what? <sighs> Alright, so I'm afraid I can't read a word of Russian. No, me neither. And I have no idea what any of this says. The pair of you floundering is a sorry sight. Allow me to offer some assistance. The article on the front page of this newspaper is concerned with a fearsome Russian revolutionary. It reads, The revolutionary violent Bolshevi flees Russia because so high. Yes, you told us that before. It reveals also that those who see the man's beard with their own eyes never live to tell the tale. Oh my goodness, he is fearsome, we literally just saw it. Well, presumably the newspaper photographer was right, wasn't he? The solution is obvious, of course. If he despises his beard to that degree, he need only shave it off. Um, I'm not quite sure that's the problem, Mr. Sholmes. What's the... Oh! This seems like something Sholmes was affiliated with. Hmm, this is interesting. Have you found something relevant, Naruto-san? Well, no, I... I think... I mean, it looks like it might be interesting? I can't read a single word, I'm afraid. No, nor can I, but I look at this picture. Perhaps it's about a beautiful young Russian princess, you think? She's very pretty, isn't she? I suppose you enjoy articles like this, do you? I... I don't know. I can't make any sense of it. Ah, oh, I'm glad you've noticed this article. Ah. Allow me to give you a short summary of its contents. Oh, thank you. He pops up everywhere, this Mr. Scholes. It's about the disappearance of a young lady last night. Renowned prima ballerina of the Novavik Ballet disappears from Shanghai. During a performance in Shanghai, the famous dancer was reported missing. She is, of course, the talented young Nikolina Pavlova. Her Russian name is so hard to remember. Dude, your name is something something Naruhodo. It would appear the, uh, the woman was in costume when she was found to be missing from the dressing room, wearing the diamond ti tiara you see pictured, which is worth some 20,000 rubles. Oh, how much is 20,000 rubles? I have no idea, but I'm quite sure it must be an unbelievable sum of money. So Sasha-san's eyes are shining with diamonds themselves. The tiara is the property of the Novavik Ballet. It would seem the director is beside herself with worry. Yes, I'm not super surprised. Now I'm giving him a Russian accent. The company is most anxious to recover both Miss Pavlova and the valuable tiara. They've requested international assistance at all ports with sailings to Great Britain. Could this be another case of Russian fleeing his or her country? It does seem to be the Russian thing to do. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response, Mr. Narado. The article about the ballerina has been entered into the court record. Alright, I don't think there's anything more interesting about this, so let's just investigate further. And you may have uh, find the article on the back page of interest as well. Oh, lol, I, I just read that. On the back, cast your eyes over it sometime if the interest takes you, though you might need someone to interpret. It's all written in Russian. I couldn't hope to read it, but I suppose it wouldn't hurt just to glance at the article. Maybe there might be a picture too. What are we just investigating? You're right, he was like on the tape, right? Before we started talking, you were examining Kazuma's desk, weren't you? Kazuma, ah oh, yes. The victim. 
Did you notice anything useful? Anything at all? Observe for a moment the desktop of the victim. We see that the victim was engaged in penning some text. London Diary. Cosmos keep notes of the ship. Ah, but... I don't think you should read his private writings. It could, it could upset people. And now he says, like, no, we have to, and then Susato agrees completely, and that's just, like, the bias. Tragic. And something you ought to perhaps elucidate before the act of reading. You, you mean you've read it already? It is my business to know what other people do not. Yes, believe it or not, I know a smattering of Japanese. Oh, I see. Well, you're about to know what a Susato takedown is. <laughs> Susato san, aren't you going to throw the detective with one of your trademark takedowns? I'm sorry, Naruto san, what on earth do you mean? Life is so unfair. Anyway, to return to the matter at hand, namely the story belonging to the victim. It would appear the final sentence is complete, as if the author were cut short. Tell me, what is the nature of the writing? Pray be precise as to details. Oh, but I thought he knew Japanese. A smattering, dear boy, a smattering. Sayonara, bonsai, mikado. Nado, nado. I trust you're suitably impressed. <sighs> but this diary is littered with complicated looking characters, of which I can read precisely. Mom. <laughs> so what was all the showing off about before then? If you would be so kind as to show me, I would be happy to read it to you, Mr. Sholmes. I'm much obliged, my dear madam. The final entry here in Kazuma Sama's diary consists of just two short sentences. The first reads, 1 to 3 a.m. I can hear a faint whistling sound. A whistling sound. Hmm, these are very deep waters. Pray, go on. The second sentence reads, 1.35 a.m. What looks like some sort of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A speckled band? What on earth does that mean? Isn't it, is it a cobra? I have no idea. I've never heard that expression before. Hmm, the ventilator grill, you say. The man was presumably referring... ...through the lattice there on the wall, which connects to the adjoining cabin. Yes, the adjoining cabin. Kazuma di Kazuma's diary has been entered into the quadrant. So, I believe I've given you enough to consider for the time being, at least. Ah, do you have somewhere to go? As it happens, the victim's writings as I have piqued my interest. The matter warrants further investigation, I believe. And if I am still too long, the seasickness takes hold. If I stay still too long, amazing. Oh, I suppose. You're thinking of investigating the cabin next door, which the ventilator connects to. Great detectives are accused, Breed. Our mind ravels at its stagnation. We crave mental exaltation. So yes, I intend to investigate. Hence, the truth will become clear soon enough. You think perhaps that we could go with you? Um, no, that would be somewhat complicated. What? But why? A simple glance at your wrist should reveal the answer. Oh, please. After all, you're the prime suspect in this matter. No. There is no point in trying to turn into turn it into question. You're the only you're the other one who decided it was the culprit in the first place. Whatever do you mean? <laughs> I have no recollection of naming you as the culprit at any point. You must be joking. You you just said it only a moment ago. Dear me, you're clearly misguided. I would have no cause to say such a thing. Well, actually, Miss Sholmes, Mr. Sholmes, I did hear you say that to you. You're quite sure? Well, that's very strange. I wouldn't have said you had the face of a criminal, you know? Not really. So, so what were you looking at my knees before? Some great detective you are. Well, anyway, that was then and this is now. What do you mean? What I mean, sir, is this. 
you're the culprit, then you must play the part more convincingly. Roll over and accept your fate. Ha 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 ha. he's just being plain rude. Yeah, he's an he's a jackass, to say the least. And off he goes, having just laughed in my face. A sense of humor is as twisted as his name. Naruto san, what are you just standing there for? Hmm? We must go investigate the cabin next door as well. Aren't you forgetting something? What about these? There is no way I can Hiya! After Kazuma san spent his dying moment struggling to leave his clue, you willing to give up? Oh, I thought she would break the chain, but no, she just picked out me. You're just going to roll over and accept your fate? Ugh, as if you gave me any choice in the rolling over part. Can I just move with these? I mean, they're not trained to the wall. I think we still have some investigation to finish off in here first, don't you? Let's carry on examining what we can in the cabin while we wait for a chance to slip next door. Good idea. The situation doesn't look good for me, but there are still things I can do to help myself. And I owe it to Kazuma to do everything I can to find a way out of this and bring the real culprit to justice. Is that... Ooh, another crewman. Is something wrong, Naruto-san? Oh, no, it's just that crewman standing by the door. I can't help feeling like I've seen him somewhere before. It's the it's the inspector, amazing. Oh yes, you're right, he does look familiar. Excuse me, sir. Yes, what can I do for you? Yes, it's... Uh, I recognize that face, but, but it can't be. Ahem, ahem. That is the point. It is! I didn't know you were here, Inspector Hosunaga. Hello again. What are you doing here? I think that should be my line. I was so stunned when I saw you, my heart stopped. But at least you can be a witness that I'm Japanese, because Susada is a useless fuck. Nearly stopped, I hope. I received some special orders to go undercover as a member of the crew who bought this ship. Again? You certainly seem to enjoy your undercover work, Inspector. If there is anything I can do to help you, please ask. I never expected to see this man on board. But perhaps this presence can help me out of this hopeless situation. Let's present everything. Inspector, can I show you this? What the? Is that a fabled Imperial Yumi University pin badge? Um, I'm not sure if it's really fabled exactly, but... So, you're a genuine student then. Sorry? Nothing like me with my regular schooling. You're something much greater. Is that what you were trying to say? Um, can I have my badge back, please? Ooh, I can actually investigate this. Ah, these must be remnants of the glue used to stick the paper still in the wardrobe. That's right, it was pulverized rice. Pulverized rice? Yes, I pulverized some of the rice from an evening meal, even though it broke my heart. <laughs> broke your heart? What do you mean? Remember, I'm a stowaway in the ship. All I had to eat were Cosmos leftovers. Even a couple of grains of rice could have meant the difference between life and death. Oh my, it must have been awful for you, Norodosa. But I have some glue with me, as it happens. You're welcome to use it this evening. I don't need any more. Oh, thank you very much. Y you, you don't need it? What? <laughs> Alright, this is the same. Then let's turn the back. You drew these characters for this paper seal, didn't you, Naruto-san? They're such bold, vivid strokes you made. You're looking at a man who came aboard inside a truck. Those brush ducks needed to make a statement. If they had found me in that wardrobe, those Russians would have hurled me into the freezing cold ocean. I'm sure none of the crewmen would have done anything like that. Hmm, well, I'm not so sure. They would have forced you to wash dishes in the galley until you were in death's door or something like that. Wash dishes until it was in death's door? That's a lot of dishes. <laughs> Me when I clean my dishes. 
Ah, this is the papacy that was stuck over the wardrobe door this morning, isn't it? That's right, to try to stop the cabin steward opening it up and discovering me. Wouldn't it have been better to write it in English if you didn't know Russian? Maybe, but Ofuda paper amulets like this are a part of a culture inspector. And I, th I thought if I made it look creepy enough, people would be too scared to want to look inside. <laughs> is it isn't Evie being a story, is it? Um, have you seen this photograph yet, Inspector? <coughs> Why are you so... Can, 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 can somebody give him medicine? Oh dear, are you right, Inspector? Yes, sorry. I'm fine. I was hoping to hide my upset with a fit of coughing and spluttering. I'm usually very good at it. But trying to stifle my feelings seems to have stifled my cough this time. It's all so sad. So his son was such a promising young man. The Empire had such high hopes for him. I had such high hopes for him, even though I'm just a detective. <coughs> ahem, 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 ahem. We're all going to miss you, Kazuma. Can I show you this newspaper, Inspector? I'm sorry, but I can't read Russian very well. Oh no, that's alright. I know what it says. Then why are you showing me? So you just want to So you just want to point out your university level linguistic talents. Is that it? Sorry? Nothing like me with my regular school. You're something much greater. Isn't that what you were trying to say? Sorry, forget him, I mentioned it. Interesting, so there's some kind of inferiority complex. Inferiority complex? At play? Same thing with the article. Kazuma's Diary. What's that? It's Kazuma's Diary. Just before he died, Kazuma Sama wrote something rather strange in his diary. Strange? In what way? He wrote, what looks like some kind of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A speckled band? That is strange. Yes, we're still trying to work out what he meant by that. But what I'd like to know is... Don't tell me. The ventilator, is it? You're very astute, Inspector. That ventilator clearly joins to the next door cabin. That's that's right, so if we could investigate in there, we might be able to work out what the speckled band was. Alright then. Hmm? I can't leave this cabin at the moment. I'm stuck here until we arrive at the next port. The captain has given me strict orders to guard the scene of the crime, you see. I'll have to entrust the inve investigation to you. Really? You willing to do that? Yes, as long as you don't leave the first-class cabin area. I'm afraid I can't remove those handcuffs, though. But what about the captain? Aren't you going against his direct orders? Ahem, ahem, ahem. I'm a man of my word. And I promise you that I'll lay my life on the line if that's what it takes to convince the captain. After all, I failed to keep a sogi son safe. This is the least I can do. Ah, thank you. Let's seize the moment then, Naruhido-san. Just select move and we can leave this cabin at last. Move. Alright, let's see what we can find out. I didn't even converse with him. Lol. Am amazing. I, w I wanted to examine if I could examine him again, yeah. Um, excuse me. What? I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Would you mind if I investigated a little outside? Grandmother told me Japanese people do not make jokes, but this is not true, I see. Sorry? The criminal asking prison guard to help him escape? Very funny. We're in the middle of the sea. There is no chance of me uh, there is no chance of me escaping. Nyat. You stay in this cabin until next port, then it is up for to Hong Kong police to decide what they do with you. You stay. Alright? There's no point trying to appeal to this man's better nature, that's for sure. Hmm. 
special orders. So, what are your special orders this time, Inspector? Yes, and why are you dressed as a member of the crew? I'm so sorry. Hmm? This is all my fault. I take full responsibility. For for what? My orders were to act as Asoki san's bodyguard. It was Minister of Justice Jikuku who pushed for this overseas studies tour to go ahead. And he entrusted me with ensuring that Asoki san reached Great Britain without being assassinated. Assassinated? How how could that even have been a possibility? I'm not sure. But these are complicated times. There are tensions between the world's greatest powers. Minister Jikoku said we should be prepared for all eventualities. This is incredible. I I don't believe it. Kazuma-sama was assassinated? Obviously, we couldn't give us Sobisa a visible security escort. Which is why I'm undercover now, posing as one of the crew. I see. And I didn't take my eyes off him for the entire time we've been on board, from morning until night, every day. But I never imagined it would happen here, inside his own cabin, not here on the first class deck. I failed miserably at my assignment, and Asogi son is dead as a result. I'm a disgrace. All I can do is humbly apologize, Inspector. Apologies for the death. So if there's anything at all I can do to help you, just say the word. I can't leave this cabin at the moment. I'm stuck here until we arrive at the next port. The captain has given me strict orders to cut the scene of the crime, you see. I'll have to entrust the investigation to you. Really? You're willing to do that? Yes, as long as... We, we already had this. What the heck? What about the captain? We already had this. Skip. We had this when we presented a diary. First class passageway. The passageway that connects. Interesting. The passageway that connects the first class cabins of the SS Buria. 9th January 748 PM. SS Buria first class cabin passageway. What is that thing on the floor? Ooh, I'm finally out of the cabin. I have to admit. This isn't quite what I was expecting. It's less spacious out here than I thought it would be. This is the most luxurious accommodation. Yes, indeed. Kazuma son was being sent on a study tour by the government. That's why he was being put in their first class cabin. Even still, this is about twice as large as my accommodation in the steerage. Really? That must be awful. <laughs> Lol. Oh, look over there. there. That's another crewman keeping watch, and he looks enormous. Even if he's sitting down. The door next to him leads to second class accommodation. I suppose it's making sure that no one comes in here who shouldn't. I suppose. Like people in handcuffs. Now who does son, you look like a little boy visiting a toy shop for the first time. I would have thought you'd be used to ship by now. We've been at sea for two weeks already. He didn't leave the cabin. Well yes, I know, but the thing is I was inside Cosmos Trunk when I first came aboard, and ever since then I've been shut up inside that little wardrobe. It must have been a very tried type for you. Please, don't give me that pitying look. Alright, let's examine everything. Because what the heck is that? Ah, a trap for catching mice. Yes, we have plenty of those back at home in Japan. Although they seem to be using a lamp, a lump of chalk or something as bait. Let me see. Yes, I think that's what it is called what is called cheese. It's made from the milk of cows. Cheese. I wonder what that tastes like. 
They don't know cheese. That's amazing. All right. They're all lactose intolerant. Really, but ha! Uh, I suppose you're right. You weren't actually going to try it, were you? All I've had to eat for the past couple of weeks is Cosmo's leftovers. You don't know how hungry you've been in that wardrobe. Poor you. I'll find a little snack for you later. Hello there. Hello there, attention host Germany. First class cabin number one. Yes, that's a cabin. Not our cabin, it's Kazuma Sama's. Sorry? Your accommodation is confined to the wardrobe inside the cabin. You know how to make a stowaway feel small, don't you? As small as the wardrobe I've been calling home. These cabins are the finest on the ship. My own cabin in Sears is number 539, by the way. 500 and... How many cabins are there? So, the, the plot so far for everyone who has joined. How's your stream doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, the story so far. We are on a ship on the way of, to England. And our uh, friend, um, we were from Japan, and our friend uh, smuggled us with him. Um, because he was studying abroad and, and we didn't get allowed, but he wanted us to come, so we were there and stuff. And now he's dead and we we're accused of murder. So that's fun. What do you think this is? This is. It's a very pleasing shape, isn't it? Are you saying it's a pleasing shape because it looks like a breast? Uh, that's the emergency alarm. It's probably best not to touch it. Oh, an alarm. It says, press only in times of emergency. It looks as though it sets alarm bells ringing all over the ship and brings the vessel to a complete stop. Oh, this I have to see. What are you doing, Naruto san? You mustn't touch it. But this is an emergency situation. Just look at these handcuffs. You know full well that's not what the alarm is for. If you were to bring this vessel to a standstill for no good reason, you'd be in an even worse situation. Uh, I wish everyone would just stop. This ship included. If you have to do something foolish, at least make it something that doesn't affect anyone else. That's such a good life motto. So what's this? This is it. This is the cabin next to ours. The one the ventilator connects to. Yes, the ventilator from which Kazuma san wrote that he saw a speckled band emerging. Maybe whoever in this cabin can help solve that particular mystery. Let's ask. LOL. Oh, um. Yeah, he's striped. Why is he striped? Excuse me, we um, need to get inside this cabin here. The sailor's eyes speaks volume. They're clearly saying, keep out. That's what I wrote on the sign we put over the wardrobe doors. Although this man's version is definitely more effective. How are you doing, attention holes? It doesn't look... I... I have auto-enabled so I don't have to click all the time, but then I mess up. It doesn't look like he's going to let us past. Hmm, that's a problem. Not that good? Oh no, massive headache. Have you tried the, the three golden steps? Um, fresh air, water, sleep. <laughs> that always helps me. This looks like a plan of the SS Boria. It shows each deck. Look. The Boria is a large scale steamship with a triple skinned hull. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh no. Have you tried medication? It's the weather. Oh yeah, the weather is. It's so. It's so hot, but it's like this humid hot. I hate humid hot. The Bury is a large-scale steamship with a triple skin tower. What a marvel of engineering! Well, it's been playing on my mind for a while now, actually. But how is it that such a huge lump of metal doesn't just sink to the bottom of the ocean? Oh, that's really quite simple, Naruto-san. Is it? It is. Well, consider the Japanese archipelago, the islands of Japan. Yes, they're not metal, but they are enormous lumps of earth, many, many times larger than the ship. And they don't sink, do they? They've been floating happily on the sea since the gods created them. Well, I suppose so. I mean, they're not really floating on the sea, they're connected with the... with the... with the... Meersboot, right? Like the... the... Uh, the, the ocean bed. No painters for you? Oh, why? I mean, I, I don't... 
I don't con uh, I don't uh, condemn you for that, but like. I have a wild mix of rain, thunder, and blue skies here. Well, be happy that it's not uh, Halen. That's a huge book on top of the table here, and there's a pen next to it. Yes, that looks like the ship's log. Shall we have a little look through it? The writing's so neat and precise. Every detail about the voyage has been meticulously recorded. Hmm, you wouldn't expect a rough and ready sailor to have such beautiful handwriting. And nothing. No reaction at all. I thought he might appreciate the compliment. I'm not sure that rough and ready is much of a compliment, naruto san even to a sailor. Anyway, last night logs is mostly blank. Presumably that means there was nothing to report. But the one dude said there was something to report, so... Hmm. Um, excuse me, but could I ask you something? You? You little stowaway murderer. That wasn't a good start, was it? Alright, let me try instead. Good day, Mr. Sailor. I'm so sorry to trouble you, but could I perhaps ask something of you? You? You little third-class ladies' meat. Lol. Oh, you seem to have caught the sailor on the bad day, Sasato son. I'm not a sailor. I'm not a sailor. My mother gave me name. I am senior crewman Beef Stroganoff. <laughs> ah, he's just called Beef Stroganoff, really? Ooh, the best thing is just to avoid eye contact, I think. First class cabin area. Um, Mr. Stroganoff, about this first class cabin area. Here we are on the finest part of Borea Steamship, for very important persons. What sort of very important persons? Government officials, kings and queens traveling in secret, many important persons. That is why I'm always guarding this place. Gosh, that's amazing. But somehow I let stupid stowaway inside. I want to pick you up and throw you in the ocean, but Stroganoff is not animal. Thank you. If I may, I, wa I was wondering, is the cabin next to Mr. Asogi is currently occupied? Duh! Um, Susato-san, did you understand that? It sounded like da. I think it's probably Russian for yes or no. <laughs> Genius. It is not permitted to visit other cabins without invitation. Well, it sounds like there is somebody in the next door cabin at least. Yes, it's tantalizing. Ooh, passenger in the next door to the cabin. But I hope you get better soon, attention horse. Could you tell us who's traveling in the cabin next to Mr. Sogi's? His name is Mr. Grimes by Roylot. He's a very important western gentleman. Mr. Grimes by Roylot. Ah, huh. is that a pun maybe? A western gentleman. Do not think about it. He has nothing to do with the murder of Sylvan Boy. How can you be so sure of that? Mr. Roylot is authentic western gentleman. Such a man would have no interest in lonely students from insignificant Far East Islands. That was harsh. Could you tell us when Mr. Roylot came aboard? That is not your business. Come to think of it, even though we've been at sea for two weeks now and have been in Cosmos Cabin the entire time, I've never once heard anything from the next door cabin or even felt like there's anyone there. Maybe he's the Russian Revolutionary from Shanghai? Well, presumably since this gentleman is occupying one of the first club's cabins, he must be rather important, is that right? That is not your business. Um, are you on watch here all the time, Simon Stroganoff? Duh. All toy. So criminals like you can come in or get out. I wonder, could you tell us anything about last night at all? No. <laughs> It is said about student boy. When you're in what last night as well? Of course. And did you notice anything at the time? Anything unusual? Well, hey! Um, Susato-san, did you understand that? It was clearly a, he a no. I saw nothing new, unusual, nothing at all. And you didn't hear any strange noises or something, anything, or sense anything was wrong in some way. I said no. Sorry. 
I'm not so sure. I could have sworn that he wouldn't catch my eye for a moment there. Huh. This is enough. I cannot say more now. Oh, it is time for me to report to Captain. You must return to Captain. Yes, alright. Book her to second class area. Stay. Locked at all times. You escaped when the lobster whistles on top of the mountain. Or as English say, when the pigs fly. Yes, I understand. We can go into second class and the other cab. Good, now we can investigate this area properly, shall we? Definitely. Even more. That book on top of the table there is really huge. There's a pen with it too. Yes, I'm sure that's a ship's log. You already had that, so do we have to investigate everything now that he's not there? Rough. Oh yeah, because it's a slightly different trail log. Anyway, look here. Last night's log is mostly blank. That's rough. That's the way to the second class area of the ship. Is something wrong? I was thinking about making a run for it, just for a moment. Things aren't exactly going well for me. <laughs> I might be wrong, but I imagine the moment you reach for the handle of the door, that burly seaman would surely shoot you dead. Oh dear, I'm sorry. Perhaps I went a little too far there. No, I started with my talk of running away. And there's no way I could run away while Cosmo's death remains a mystery anyway. So why is only this one light on? That That's peculiar, honestly. We have this, we have that, we have... Alright, let's go in! This is it. This is the cabin next to ours, the one the ventilator connects to. Yes, the ventilator from which Kazuma Sama wrote that he saw a speckled band emerging. Maybe whoever's in this cabin can, sol uh, can help solve that particular mystery. Let's ask. Knock, knock. No answer. We're out of luck, it seems. There's no one in there to help with our inquiries. How annoying. Ah! What? What was that? It came from inside the cabin. Such a hyper scream. It must have been a woman. Stand aside. I'm about to break the board door down. Mr. Sholmes! I shan't be stopped. When the fit is on me, I revel, revel, revel in kicking doors off the hinges. I bet it's fucking a Jezai bread again. Wait, Mr. Hope, please wait, Mr. Jones. The door doesn't appear to be bolted. It doesn't? Then how the deuce can I dispatch this muscular urge? What, pray, can I kick it? I think we should go in. There's no time to think about stress relief. Another murder? 19th January. This is Bury, a first class cabin number two. Ah, it's the Russian Revolution, of course. Who? Who are you? A Western gentleman. Uh, a Western gentleman. This man looks Russian to me. We... we heard a woman scream. A woman? Don't be absurd. As you can see, there's nobody but me in this cabin. Yet yeah, that's like... That's... that... that's him. True, this old man appears to be the only person in here. But in that case, who just screamed? Get up, all of you. Now. Please excuse the intrusion, but you're Mr. Grimes by Royal Lord, I believe. Yes, that's me. And you are... I'm the one and only, the actual Herlock Sholmes. You've heard of me, no doubt. No. I'm a great detective among great detectives, one who adorns the covers of popular magazines, no less. So I assure you, you may trust me completely. The man uses the magazine like a business card. A detective? Hmm, I do not trust detectives. We distinctly heard a scream emanating from within these walls. But there wouldn't appear to be a lady concealing herself within the wardrobe this time. So might I be so bold as to ask you to open that small traveling case? Well, don't be stupid. How could anyone feed in a small trunk like that? Well, it's quite fashionable these days, is it not? Traveling inside one's trunk. Don't look at me. Oh. Oh my, did, did you see that, Mr. Naruto? Yes, the case just shook. Leave now. 
Otherwise, I'll call the steward. So this is Kazuma's neighbor, Mr. Grimes by a royal lord. There is no doubt about it. The strange Russian man is hiding something. I could say, couldn't agree more. Let's see if we can find some more clues before the bur burly sailor returns. Last night. Mr. Robert, we'd like to talk to you about something. No. Oh, I don't even want to talk. Leave my cabin now. Ugh, this is going terribly. We're not getting anywhere here, I agree. But there may be someone else who can help. Perhaps that great detective could get somewhere with Mr. Royal Lord. Mr. Royal Lord. Would presenting also yield the same things? My personal student number is engraved on the back. If you lose your pin, they won't accept you as a UMA student at the university. You may not care, they say. Of course, you can get a new pin made if you can just tell them your number. I've actually lost mine twice already, but I still don't know my student number by heart. I always say to myself, I mustn't forget to write it down somewhere. But then I forgot not to forget that. Amazing. That's me. Yeah, I want to present this. <sighs> Where's your role? What do you make of this? Lisa, do you know why I'm wearing these dark glasses? Um, no, not really. So I do not have to look at things I don't want to look at. Do you understand? I wish I could point out that you can still see things even when wearing sunglasses. But his chilly air has frozen my lips shut. Alright, then I guess we should examine. What do you think you're doing? Huh? This is my cupboard. Get out. Could you just have a quick look inside your traveling case, perhaps? No. Ah, uh, what a pity. I think we're out of luck. I think you're right. There doesn't appear to be anything more we can do. I agree, but there may be someone else who can help. Is it with... Perhaps a great idea. Is it with everything that I, like, interact with? Oh, interesting. Everything gives the same thing, yeah. Um, do you have a moment, please, Mr. Sholmes? You need only address Miss Sholmes. That's what I just did, isn't it? Mr. Sholmes. Well, um, Mr. Sholmes, what were you doing in there? Why, I was resting, of course. Resting? Indeed, I was contemplating a sea voyage from the confines of the wardrobe walls, waiting, waiting for the inevitable time that you would need to call my great powers of de de detection into service. Oh, and it would seem that the hour is upon us now. The time has come. Am I mistaken? Well, um, no, actually, you're spot on for once. <laughs> Observe closely. A Russian host in this cabin, Mr. Royal Lord, is clearly trying to hide something. And do you know what is the most effective weapon to use against a Russian hiding a secret? Wait, the truth, of course. Oh, jeez. Why, though it should be pointed out that such methods are not exclusive for the Russians. Right. Can you imagine how the Russian would react when the secret he guards so closely is exposed? Would you like to witness it? Oh yes, please. Well then, what you are about to see may well astound you. For I am about to apply my great detective's great lead, my great deduction to the case. Could this man be a more hackneyed portrayal of a dubious Russian, I ask you? What? From time to time it occurs to me. Is the fellow dubious on account of his Russianness or Russian on account of his dubiousness? <laughs> Is that racist? I, I really don't think either of those things should be occurring to you or anyone. That's right, and Mr. Sholmes. 
I know this man's beard and dark glasses are hard to ignore, especially in first meeting, but I once read, It is a capital mistake to theorize before you have all the evidence. It biases the judgment. Shh. I must have complete silence. You don't want to become famous? Nah. What are you doing? Why are you being with my face like that? Ah, just as I thought. Yes, I have quite made up my mind now. Hmm? There can be no other explanation that accommodates all the facts, Mr. Royal Lord. I have reached two incre incontrovertible conclusions. What, what do you mean? Number one, your true identity is that of a villain. Using those shears, you're about to end the existence of something most dear. Are you not? Huh? And number two, the other conclusion I've drawn, you are, at this very moment no less, in the midst of committing a most grievous crime. Beneath that beard, your mouth quivers with nervous tensions as real as you've been discovered. Does it not? Ugh! Oh, no, Rido san I've never imagined I would witness one of Mr. Sholmes' great deduction with my own eyes. That was a great deduction. Jesus Christ, he's so annoying. Nothing can deceive Mr. Sholmes. In a single glance, he can deduce all there is to know about a person. What? What an ineffable twat? Oh, yes. I've read about it countless times in the adventures of Sherlock Sholmes. And now I've experienced the astonishing impact of his great deduction firsthand. This is like a dream come true. I can hardly believe it, but all the colors rain from Mr. Rollins' face. It looks like somehow both of Mr. Sherlock Holmes' conclusions were right. How? How could you? How could I possibly know such things? You wish to say? Very well, then. I shall elucidate. I shall explain how it was that I arrived at this pair of conclusions. So do I cordially invite you to upon a journey of logical discovery. Let us board the train of reason. Put plainly, let us work through my deductions together. The great deduction, the game is afoot. Is this a mini game? Topic 1, conclusion. Old man's identity. So, the deepest looking Russian, Mr. Orlot. Obviously, what catches the eyes in the first place? Is the enormous pair of shears in your hands? Now, Gosk says, what could you possibly want with such an implant? The answer, of course, is staring us in the face. He's gonna shave off the beard. We want the verge of using the shears to cut away the copious beard you sport. Now, moving on. The question then begged is this. Why would you desire to rid yourself of the magnificent beard, Mr. Rollard? Once again, the answer is plain. We have clear evidence to shed light on the matter. Regard, if you will, this morning's newspaper, in particular the fascinating front page article. Which, uh, it would appear you have read also, Mr. Rolot. I'm sure it needs no further clarification. The evidence that reveals your true identity is the article about the revolutionary. In translation, the headline reads, Revolutionary Vilan Bolshevik flees Russia via Shanghai. As you cannot fail to observe, the subject of the article poses Possess an extremely copious beard. Having noted the article you said, you decided to remove your in incriminating facial hair before it gave you away. In short, your true identity is beyond doubt. You are the fearsome Russian revolutionary himself, a violent Bolshevik. Not that I've heard of you myself, you understand. Including a revolutionary on the run. So, was this just all like fancy, fancy stuff and not actually mini games? Wrong turn. Now, as for my second conclusion, you are at this very moment on the brink of committing a most grievous crime, and the proof of this old this crime over there. Oh yes, Mister Robot. Taken unawares, people have a propensity to let their eyes stray. You see. Ah, and I assure you that I speak so much more eloquently in our sleep than the mouth. The answer we seek lies where the furtive glance falls. The proof of your crime sits before your own very eyes. Yes, that traveling case. It is time, I think, that the case be opened and its contents laid bare. No, I'll refuse. 
What could you possibly conceal inside, we asked. By my estimation, a young lady, perhaps, one slight enough to fit therein. Don't be absurd. And, and what, pray, would be the identity of this young lady in the traveling case? It's, it's the ballerina, are you gonna say that? Dear me, we are not well suited to a life of crime, are we? The careless coup de wall betrays you. Once again, we need only follow your furtive glance to find the answer. Yes, the reason you refuse to open your traveling case can equally be found in the pages of this newspaper. For there is another, most stimulating article. If it returned from the fleeing revolutionary to the back page! Renowned prima ballerina of the Novavik Ballet disappears from Shanghai. Such a headline can lead us to but one conclusion. Your crime is that of a Dutch. And according to the article, the young lady's name is Nicolina Pavlova. Concluding kidnapping of a young ballerina. Thus concludes Holok Sholm's great deduction of the Ru this Russian enigma, Elementsky. So such a son, that wasn't one of the great deductions I've been hearing so much about, was it? Well, um, the stories are full of Mr. Sholm's brilliant deductions, you know. But that did seem a little different somehow. Excuse me, Mr. Sholmes, could you come over here for a moment? He's a fraud, he's a fraud. Can you just not? I'll see that. Pray, what can I do for you? It's about your deductions. Would you mind not a go on? Well, to start with, there's the newspaper article. I think we had the same discussion before, but... These two men look nothing like each other. Ah, yes, I recall the discussion earlier. And at the time, I believe I told you... That the man is revolutionary, well able, well able to revolutionize his own appearance. In fairness to Mr. Sholmes, Mr. Rola does look more like this man than you do. That's not the point. And another thing, the part about him abducting the ballerina. Indeed, a truly startling revelation. At first glance, the case would appear too small to accommodate a young woman. Not just at the first glance, it is too small, clearly. You'd be lucky to fit a five-year-old into that case, even if you pushed really hard. I don't suppose the missing ballerina is a five-year-old child, is he? You mean you don't know? No, the young lady is fifteen. No, I didn't know. How could I? Hmm. Well, if she's fifteen, then ten years worth of her would be poking out from the case. Some years ago, I read some uh, something pertinent, I believe. A troop of men consuming vinegar daily in order to promote a certain li lightness in their bodies. Vinegar? For such a sour she would surely be simplicity. It serves to contort oneself into the confines of that small case. Oh dear, you might be thinking of contortionists in the circus, Mr. Shams. Ugh, this whole thing is turning into a circus. Mr. Narado, something has occurred to me about Mr. Shams' deductions just now. I think his parts of the observation are, well, magical. His eyes cut to the heart of the matter almost instantly. It's just when he directs his attention is logic that seems a little off. Your idea of a little maybe as well, um, maybe a little off itself, Mr. Sato. It's just one or two keywords in his deduction that seem to let him down. So this is the menu. So I was wondering if we might perhaps tactful, uh, tactfully switch them for alternatives. What do you think? Hmm, switch some keywords in his deductions. Yes. But very tactfully, I feel sure if we could do that, we'd unlock the true genius of Mr. Shope's <sighs> great deductions. Precisely the thought that was going through my own mind. This man has a lot of work. At times, I wonder why anyone puts up with me. Oh, ha, ha. It's not that funny. Oh, and you, my good fellow, sorry, take a moment to look at your wrists. My wrists? Ah, oh, what? Wait, handcuffs? Huh? How how did you... I felt they may hinder your ability to follow me in or dance of deduction. I don't believe it. Mr. Sholmes, you're a marvel. And don't worry, I shall restore the shackles to your wrists when we are finished. I'm not worried, in fact I'd rather stay like this. So, 
Let us begin. Herlock Sholmes is proud to present. His logic and reasoning is spectacular. Course correction. Hold it, Mr. Sholmes. Topic one, uh, one. Old man's identity. So, the DP is talking with Mr. Rush, Mr. Roland. Obviously, we're catching the eye in the first place. It's the enormous pair of shoes. Alright, we can skip this because we know. Hmm, I'm not sure. Did she really use shears like that to cut off a beard? I thought that's something I'll never have to worry about. It does quite sit right. It doesn't quite sit quite sit quite right with me though. It doesn't seem to be sitting right with Mr. Royal Lord either, which means I suppose that the deduction is wrong. Let's try to switch a keyboard here, Naruto san, and see if it helps matters. All right, but how? I think we should start by taking a long, hard look at Mr. Royal Lord. I wonder if it's really his beard that he tended to use the shields on. Exactly. If we do manage to find something that seems to fit the sense of Mr. Shum's deduction better, then what? Then I'll leave the rest in your capable hands, Naruto san. Why am I the one to do something about this? Well, anyway, let's see if there's anything we could even use to switch around that last sentence. What exactly was Mr. Roller really going to use this enormous shears for? And now we can really just investigate? Wait, what's this? Golden locks. What the heck? Yes! Golden locks. You weren't on the verge of using the shears to cut away the golden locks you sport. Indeed, you have identified the precise details intending to expose. Why does he have golden locks? What the heck? Such lush golden hair certainly doesn't fit the old man. He is the woman! He just has... You're not a man at all. You're a woman, judging from the length and sheen of your hair. When still very much in a youth. Oh, she's the ballerina. Oh no. If only I'd managed to cut off my hair, no one would have suspected. Yeah, she she's the ballerina, isn't she? Yeah. The question, in fact, is this. Why would you desire to rid yourself of these magnificent locks? Once again, the answer is plain. We have clear evidence to shed light on the matter. I'm sure it needs no further clarification. The evidence that reveals your true identity is the article about the revolutionary. Well, that was a shock. I had no idea that old man really was a young woman in disguise, did you? What? Why are you staring at me like that? Yes, it was a surprise. Naruto son, you're enjoying this, aren't you? Sorry? You look like you're in your element as you dance around the room, deducing the facts of Mr. Sholmes. I'm just doing what we read. I'm, I'm not having fun or anything. This is strictly business, not strictly com- Yes, yes, I understand. Say no more. Well, anyway, let's focus on this next part of Mr. Sholmes' deduction, shall we? The evidence that he's picked out doesn't fit the facts at all now. No, that's true. Given that Mr. Rayo is actually a woman, Exactly, he, or rather she, can possibly be this merciless revolutionary. I suppose it's because the deduction as a whole has taken a different turn now, a different deduction now. Yes. Let's switch the evidence for something else, something that fits the fact, as we now understand them. For some reason, this woman needs to try to hide her true identity. I feel as though I've either read or heard about a young woman in a situation like that recently. Alright, I'll do my best. Yeah, it's the body yes! of the ballerina. <laughs> Let me just look something up real quick. Ah, I see. The evidence reveals a true identity is, of course, the article about the ballerina. That's right, you've hit that nail on the head. Renowned prima ballerina of the Novavik Ballet disappears from Shanghai. It would appear we are finally able to address you by your true name. Yes, because your true identity is that of the Novavik Ballet's prima ballerina. Miss Nikolina Pavlova. Ark! Oh no, the, 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 the shears. Lol. 
Hello, the shears. Royal Lord. <laughs> that, that's funny. You're right. My real name is Nina. I mean, Nikolina Pavlova. But please, I beg you, don't tell anyone. A ballerina on the run. Soft. Oh, the wrongdoing is still is a thing? Interesting. Now, as for my second conclusion. You are, at this very moment, on the brink of committing a most grievous crime. And the proof of this crime, over there. Not the traveling case. Where is the crown then? This woman is the ballerina and she's right in front of her eyes, so clearly she can't be inside the traveling case as well. No, that's right, it seems she wasn't abducted at all. In which case, what is the crime this young woman is apparently committing? Ah, I can't see I'm going to have to step in and fix the great detective's mistake again. He seems so to look pleased, Naruto san. Do you like the idea of another chance to dance a bond with Mr. Sholmes? Stop it. Anyway, there must be something else that shows what this woman is up to. There's the tiara up. It's just there. Yes! His observation skills are as bad as his destruction skills. The proof of your crime is surely this tiara. Ah! I believe this tiara is one on stage but dances in the Nova Vic Ballet, is it not? Indeed, it would appear to be identical to the tiara appear pictured here in this newspaper article. And if the reporting is to be believed, it's an item worth 20,000 rubles. In summary, the crime you have committed is theft. No, no, no! Yes, you left your ballet true, unlawfully taking the precious tiara with you. Ark! I have no one. No family, no friends. I'm all alone, and I need money. But I did not steal the tiara. It was a present from, what do you say, an earl of Prussia. It belongs to me. This girl is only 15 years old, and she's run away all by herself. She must have been extremely lonely. Alright, I will tell you everything. There is no point to hiding it now. Come, come, let us not be hasty. What? There remains one unsolved mystery about you. Mystery? What do you mean? You have staunchly to refuse to open this traveling case of yours in our presence. It is reasonable to conclude, therefore, that there exists some reason why you wish it to remain closed. Is that not so, Miss Pavlova? Um. My dear girl, there is no sense in playing games with me. Nothing escapes my attention, except the tiara and the lock golden locks. Indeed, I have a very good idea of the contents of your case, even before I ever, ever laid eyes on them. Dear me, we are not well suited to a life of crime, are we? The careless crew do well betrays you. Once again, we need only for your furtive glance to find the answer. Yes, the reason why you refuse to open your case is written in the... Books on the shelf? What? He's completely changed tack with his deduction now. I think Mr. Sholmes is adapting his logic to changing circumstances, don't you? Maybe, but why has he suddenly brought the bookshelf into all of this? It's just a wild guess, surely. Oh, do you think so? Well, it doesn't seem like that the reason why this one young woman doesn't want to open a case would have been written in a book that doesn't even belong to her. Yes, that's true, but still. Miss Pavlova certainly did cast her eyes in that direction. I noticed it myself. Then there has to be another reason why she won't open her case, and it must be somewhere in the same area, if that's where her gaze was involuntarily drawn. I agree, that's the only answer. Whatever she has hidden inside that case, should be revealed by following the gaze in the direction of the bookshelf. Yeah, something here. 
uh, a web pet. He has a pet, of course. Yes, the reason why you refuse to open your case written is written rules of passage. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in the cabins. Pets are most strictly forbidden. Inside that case of yours is something forbidden from carriage on this vessel. That is the real reason why you refuse to open it, thus revealing its contents. I... As we've seen, the trunk wobbles from time to time, but no weapon or other dangerous item would move it on its own accord. Which leaves but one possibility, Miss Pavlova. Inside your traveling case... ...is the last item listed as uh, as forbidden the vessel's rules of passage. F... a... fuck. A pet! Ah! Did it... did it... did it... hey... Possession of a prohibited animal. Solved. Course correction completed. So clearly, you aren't who you said you were. No, I'm not Crumbs by Royal Lord. My real name is Nicolina Pavlova. Everything you said was correct. You ab as absconded during one of our, your ballet's company's performances in order to escape your homeland. Later that later that same night, you stole aboard this vessel, which couldn't have been easy. The Buria is a huge steamship on the last crew. Would you really have snuck on board without being noticed? In order to obscure your true identity, you somewhat recklessly took the guise of an old gentleman, and you tended to sever all things with your past by severing your long hair. Yet to a woman, hair is no trifling matter, and my personal recommendation is to leave well alone. So if it was just you, about the color of your own hair, who was it that let out the scream we heard from the outside the cabin? That veritable th tinkling of a bell, why, not other than this young lady, naturally. More like a full set of pipes, if you ask me. It was so scared when I ran away in Shanghai. I was sure they would come looking for me. That's why I decided to, how do you say, disgust myself? So no one would disgust myself, so no one would recognize me. As a result, you transformed yourself into that questionable old man, I see. I put on the fur hat and fake beard. Then, just before you came in here, I saw it in the newspaper. Right on the page, there was a picture of me. I was so frightened, I couldn't stop from screaming. I knew that if I didn't change my appearances completely, they would fight me. So I decided to cut all my hair as fastly as possible. I picked up the scissors in my hand and... At that precise moment, we walked in through the annoyingly, annoyingly unlocked cabin door. Things happen like that sometimes, don't, you th don't they? Things do indeed happen like that from time to time. Are those two even talking about the same thing? What the... Uh, the grandmas? There's just one more thing I'd like to know. What exactly do you have inside your traveling case? You were right. It is my dear friend inside. My only friend in the whole world. Is it a doggo? Please don't tell anyone. If the captain finds out, if you say it to any of the crew... The secret is safe with us, I assure you. But in return... You must tell us in as much detail as you can muster about the events of last night. Yes, alright. I will tell you. Is it a snake? Is it really a snake? Is the, the, is the friend a snake? Well, Mr. Norido, wasn't it something Mr. Shum's great deduction? Great deduction? It was certainly something, yes. I'm just not entirely sure what. But at least Miss Pavlova has agreed to tell us what she knows. That's incredible. Indeed, it is incredible. Ah, one more thing. Oh yes, but put the put the cursor. Observe your wrists, my. <laughs> ah, your hands. I cuffed again. What? But but how? True to my word, I've restored your shackles. Your when and why? 
There is still a shadow of gold cost over you now, Mr. Naruto. I'm sorry to say, it can't be helped at the moment. <sighs> can't it? Really? But like, what are they afraid of? He can't escape, really? Anyway, let's... Oh, check. Anyway, let's listen to what Miss Pazlo has to say. I can't go on not knowing. I have to find out what the speckled band that Kazuma-sama wrote about in his diary really was. Can I examine the, the thing now? Let me see. Don't touch! Huh? I will tell you what I know about last night, but please. You must not touch my things. I, uh, how do you say? Forbid it. Oh, sorry. As well as you should be, young man. What vulgar madness you have. Poking around in young lady's private belongings. Neither shall I allow it. Grr, hypocrite. And let's investigate a little bit more, I guess. Oh, wait. Actually, everything has that? Amazing. What happened last night? Did you know that someone was killed in a cab next door to this one last night? One of the crew members, crewmen, told me this morning when I was eating breakfast. The man who died. Uh, the man who died. He was a friend of me. Oh. That's why we're trying to find out what happened. Did you notice anything unusual last night? Perhaps you heard a strange noise, for example. Perhaps people talking. Perhaps the ship was absorbed in a wild tempest. Perhaps its steam engine exploded. Perhaps everyone on board would have noticed if that had happened. <laughs> Miss Pavlova? Is there anything you can tell us? I don't know. I'm sorry. But all I could think about last night was what I had done and whether they would find me. I didn't notice anything that was happening around me. Oh, I see. You've run away from your ballet company, ballet company, haven't you? The Novavich Ballet. Yes, I'm traveling to Great Britain, and from there, I want to go to America. I will never... I will never dance again. I want to forget everything about the ballet. I will start a new life. You wish to forget a challenging proposition. When you have just struck in tiara as a reminder. But the tiara is mine. I need you to leave. I have no money of my own. The Novavich Ballet gives us only a little food and water. And we must dance all over the world. I had to run away. I had no choice. If I stayed, it would have killed me. So you run away to protect yourself. Yes. And the crew of this ship, they have all been kind to me. They let me come on board, and they said I could hide in this cabin. So the crew knew? That is indeed the truth, Miss Pavlova. It creates a most intriguing conundrum. Yes, it does. What do you think about it, Mr. Nardo? Well, why did she want to cut off the, the stuff when, when they were in there? I think we should hear Miss P P Pavlova's explanation. What conundrum? I'm not sure, but what? Conundrum. Miss Pavlova, allow me to pose you a riddle. According to this newspaper, it was only yesterday that you absconded from the ballet. Now, that being the case, it must have been last night that you bought this vessel. However, the SS Burya stopped by no port last night. Oh, that's it, of course. So how is it, pray, that you come to be aboard? But like, how did they get the newspaper? You know what I think about this? Crewman outside the cabin acted very strangely when we mentioned that. It was just after we asked him about when the occupant of this cabin came aboard. That is not your business. Yes, you're right. He did seem to be hiding something. An angel descended from the heavens, bringing grace and beauty to the stage. Sorry, what was that? This is how the Russian newspaper described one of my performances. And that is how I came here too. I descended from the heavens, because I am an angel. Considering English isn't your mother tongue, your description is very vivid. Mr. Chalmers once said, I can never resist the touch of the dramatic. It seems Miss, pa Miss Pavlova is the same. A genius descended from the heavens, bringing grace and beauty to the section. 
Words once said about myself. A quote from a wonderfully extravagant advertisement for the adventures of Herlock Sholmes, in fact. Yes, yes, Mr. Sholmes. Anyway, it doesn't look like Miss Pavlova is going to tell us what really happened. Friend. So what is the friend? So the friend you mentioned is inside your travel case, is that right? I don't think animals are allowed on board according to the rules of passage. Oh please, don't tell, don't tell any of the crew. If they found my precious, then the burly Russians would bestir themselves in unison to throw you and your case above a board. Ah! So reassuring, Mr. Sholmes. But what sort of pet is your friend? A little puppy? It is, isn't it? It's a snake. Maybe an adorable little rabbit. It's a snake. Ha! You credit Russia as a land with small rabbits, you. Oh, don't they have small rabbits there? You may wear you may well ask. I have no idea. Huh. You two are miserable bunglers when it comes to understanding the nature of young ballerina's friends. Isn't it obvious? It must be a chicken. Really? Consider the benefits. A rousing wake-up call, daily fresh eggs, that's not how chicken works, and with adversary strikes that could satisfy the needs of sustenance. So you'd eat your friends. I remember that. It's a snake, it's a snake, it's a snake. Well, it would appear that this friend's identity is a closely guarded secret not to be revealed. <laughs> She obviously doesn't quite trust us yet. There's something I should like to show her, I think. Maybe she might be able to shed some light on it. Alright. We have a speckled band. This is the diary of my friend who passed away. His diary? Yes, and he wrote in it last night before he died. Something a little unusual. It reads... Is that the wrong button? 1, 2, 3 m I can hear a faint whistling sound. And then a few minutes later. 1.35 a.m. It looks like some sort of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A speckled band? I don't understand. It's strange, isn't it? But the ventilator he managed to join to this cabin, you see? It's up there on the wall. In other words, this cabin and the victim cabin are connected together. Oh! Miss Pavlova, has something occurred to you? Does the speckled band the victim mentioned mean something to you? Or the whistling sound, perhaps? No, I don't know anything. Oh! Excuse me, Mr. Robot. Yes, what? Wow, she's fast. Captain would like to speak with you. You must come to Captain's quarters at once, please. Alright, I will come there. What? You must leave, now. Oh no, it's fine. Don't mind us. Yes, please don't worry about yourself, Mr. Robot. Get out! The passengers sit out! You, you want me to throw out. Amazing, they try to, like, weasel themselves to stay there. Ugh, it looks like we have to leave investigating this, this cabin until later. What a pity. I wonder when the trial is gonna start. I kinda wanna... Oh, I think we're gonna arrive at the to be continued now. That's a good ending point, then. And so we lost a chance. Having still not managed to investigate Miss Pavlova's cabin, we were unceremoniously chased out. That is to say, we were quite literally picked up and thrown into the passageway outside. To be continued. Da, 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 da. All right. I'll just try to go from here to the main menu now. Alright, so chat, oh interesting, now this is the the title screen basically, very interesting. Alright chat, this has been 
the great ace attorney we have started case two um probably get to the the uh trial phase soon um yeah i hope you enjoyed it thus far um and i'll be back tomorrow at the same time 4 pm we'll play a little bit more i might think about doing like um two streams per day or something um but uh, thanks for streaming. Oh, you're welcome. If you want to stay a little second uh, second later, we're raiding somebody. Um, um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow for PM exactly. Blah blah blah. Uh, with the Great S Attorney. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, raid message is raid the hacking streamer or something. Streamers with rage. Yeah, that that seems like a good good rate message. Alright, that seems like a good great message. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you tomorrow and good night.